According to a recent survey, 80% of women think it's inappropriate to have more than two drinks on the first date. They also think it's a turnoff for their date to ask for a bite of their food or a sip of their drink. <laughs> Ladies, what's the biggest mistake? We're talking about the biggest mistake a guy can make to blow the first date. First of all, I disagree with that completely. I've had a whole bottle of wine on a first date, and if that's what you want to do, <laughs> it's okay. You know, you split a bottle, that's two glasses each. That's fine. And if you are feeling like it's an intimate situation, there's some chemistry, oh, I want to try what you have, I think that's completely fine. The biggest deal breaker for me is if you can't hold a conversation or if you talk about yourself too much, and I've been on dates like, I, I will talk sports with you. I will talk sports. And if you can't create a conversation, even when I'm willing to talk about baseball and basketball, mm, probably not gonna work out. Yeah. Yeah. I actually feel like the biggest mistake a man can make, and I think this makes the drinks flowing a little dangerous, is like sexual innuendos. Yeah. And, you know, once once the conversation goes there, yeah. a little too handsy, a yeah. little too touchy-feely and things like... I like where you got that straw in your mouth. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. First, first date... But you know, I'm gonna have to side with the men on this one because I think when a man is on a first date and he really likes you, did it ever occur to you that he might be nervous himself and he's really trying to make a good impression but maybe he fumbles and messes it up. I know when I was in Rome with my girls on to Rome for Love, I remember one of the girls went on a first date and this guy was so, so nice. I mean, he pulled out her chair when she sat down, she got up to go to the restroom, he stood up, she came back, he pulled out her chair again, he opened the water bottle, poured her wine, like he was just so into her. And by the end of the day, she was like, Diane, I was turned off because he was just too clingy. And I'm like, well, what do you want? Somebody to slap you upside your head? <laughs> it's like, he was come too on, clingy. Heifer. Yeah, he was too clingy. See, see, you know what it is? See, see, she's not used to anything. Exactly. Yes. And I think um, as American he women, just we're just not right. used to men doting on us. Okay, let me ask you this question. Yes. Is it a turnoff? Is it a big mistake for a guy not to pick up the check? On the first date, yeah. I think, I think if, if you have invited me and you have chosen this place to take me, I'm expecting that you can afford this. Mm -hmm. I don't agree. But it's the same, like, I don't necessarily I'm not a salad agree. eating girl. I don't necessarily agree because you have to look at the circumstances in which the date came together, right? And I feel that you have to give people freedom to be themselves. And then if you discover that he is just cheap and it ain't gonna never work out, fine. But I don't think a first date is something to hold that yeah, against I don't a man. Mind. If you wanna go Dutch though, let me know before because I don't wanna know after the meal that you're having regret. And if like... the guy chooses the place on a first date, which is usually <laughs> what happens, I think he should pay. But I also think the woman has to at least offer. Just seem classy Absolutely. enough that you want to offer. And he should, no, he, no. He should turn it, he should turn it down. <laughs> no. But then, but then there's an exception. No. I think it's fair if the woman realizes in the first date that she's really not into it, that she can pay half. But my thing is like, we're okay with women being boss chicks mm -hmm. and all of that in every other instance in life. And let's just be honest, like, I wake up every day with a lot of problems. A self-esteem is not one of them. <laughs> good for you. So a brother can take me out and I'm good paying it for myself if I need to. And I'm not gonna necessarily hold it. But why that would you need me. to though? That ain't right. <laughs> Fellas, that ain't down. right. Turn it down. Fellas, that is not how it works. Now, I don't know what your daddy told you, but that ain't how the game go. You know, women's lib is cool. I'm all for equal pay, equal work. Women deserve the rights, all of that. But you got to take care of a woman. If you're not willing to do that, what are you doing? What you doing? There are three ways a man shows his love. Protect, profess, and provide. Provision is big for men. We take a woman out, we're paying. That's the man way. If you sitting up in here and you got to have her pay for her own damn food, that ain't the man way. <laughs> See, we done stopped teaching young dudes how to be men. It's the man way. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Big hand for the ladies, everybody. Thank, Thank the ladies for being here. What a great panel today. We'll be right back, y'all. Hey, listen, if you all... Uh, if you're sitting there thinking, I sure would like to see Steve Harvey YouTube videos 
on a regular basis, then guess what? Ha, you in luck, cause you can. All you gotta do is press the subscribe button or click on this list and see what other foolishness I've done. I'm ignorant.